but make it heat. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you're new here, hi, welcome. On my channel, we do lots of workouts, we talk about fitness, we do health commentary. I'm a gray haired geek who likes to read and then also share my opinions with the world. That sounds like a good time to you. Hit that subscribe button. Today's video, I wanted to share with you my review of Epic Heat by Caroline Gervan. It was a struggle, it was a journey, and we're gonna go all the way through it. Well, I think I have said this in many a video that we are all works in progress. <laughs> I am a WIP, as it were, and so are you, and you can't deny it. That's why I decided to hop into the Epic programs to challenge myself. Um, and also to learn about myself and also to complete something. I think we've all been in lockdown and this pandemic made us spend a lot of time what, either with our partner or even by ourselves. Regardless, it was a chance for me to really strip bare my knowledge of working out and try something new and try something different. The, before I started any type of epic program, be it epic one, epic two, or epic heat, I was predominantly relying on cardio workouts. I did a plethora of kickboxing workouts and then would go running for hours at a time. I also shared in my mental health uh, video a review of epic heat that um, I would work out for close to two hours at a time before starting, um, before jumping into the uh, Epic 2 program. <laughs> when I was doing Epic 1, I was still doing that. I still had that mindset um, that I would need to, you know, work out for two hours at a time for the workout to actually mean something. And then Epic 2 really helped me to dial back and, you know, think about, okay, maybe that's a little bit ridiculous. But then Epic Heat really caused me to stop and think about what it was I was doing with my time, what I was doing with my body, what I was doing with my mind. So Epic 1 helped me to get my foot into the door. Epic 2 helped me basically put two feet through the door. And then Epic Heat, I'm, I'm about like a full hop into the room now, I guess, if I were to carry that metaphor. Forward. I realized whilst filming my Epic Heat review, I couldn't not talk about my experience with Epic 1 and Epic 2, as well as a focus on Epic Beginner. So throughout the video, we're going to be circling back to this lovely Venn diagram that I constructed for this. In Epic 1 and Epic 2, Caroline Gervan always starts off her videos with a walkthrough of the exercises that you're going to be doing. She lets you know the time that you will be doing your work and the time that you will be resting. She also lets you know the amount of weight that she's going to be utilizing. In Epic Heat, she incorporates that, but then also walks you through the exercises that are going to be working through specific muscles and the exercises that are going to be challenging uh, and how you're going to perform the exercise correctly. Caroline took her time to educate her viewers as well. This is a perfect example. In day 36, she walks us through the anterior, interior, and posterior delts. And those are the muscle groups of the shoulder that we were working on that day. In addition to educating as well as walking her viewers through what to do and what not to do, the focus of Epic is to feel Epic. Her whole program is based upon your happiness. You feel good, you challenge yourself, 
to be the best version of yourself that you could possibly be. And part of that is making investments in One and two, she has nutrition tips and food swaps. I have expressed qualms about that because she is a certified personal trainer, very excellent at her job, but she is not a dietitian. So if you're doing your Epic One program and you're looking for those nutrition tips and advice, that's great, take Caroline's program, but bump it up against advice with from your dietitian and from your specific nutritionist so that you can get what is best for you. In Epic Heat, she does include advice from a registered dietitian. In the Epic Heat program nutritional portion, we are introduced to UK leading dietitian, Jillian Killiner, and she typically provides nutritional advice and services to clients in the corporate sector. She worked in the NHS as a specialist dietitian and offers specific recipes for meals that you can implement throughout your fitness journey. That's not to say that these are the be all and end all, but it's certainly great to have that expert advice advice to use in your daily meal prep. The one thing that I just want us to be careful of is that perhaps this is just me, but whenever I look at those food swaps and I see two biscuits or two cookies for two rice cakes, I immediately hear diet culture screaming in my ear because I don't want us to demonize food. Food is fuel. I don't want us to look at a certain food and think, oh, I can't have that. I want us to look at that list of food swaps as suggestions, but that also it's okay to have two cookies. Okay to have a slice of white bread. So let me get off my pedestal about what it's okay to eat and what isn't okay to eat, because truly I do not want us to demonize food. Let's talk about what I ate. I did not change a single thing. For breakfast, I would have a variation of porridge. I would have toast with eggs. For lunch, I'd have leftovers if I didn't have time to meal prep because let's face it, life is busy. And there are days and there are weekends when I do not have time to meal prep. Uh, there are times when I have uh, enough time to create a full meal and it's all balanced, but nobody has time to do that every single day, unless you do, unless you're Superwoman or Superman and you have tips that you can share with me. I would have dark chocolate for a snack. I'd have crackers. Uh, I'd also have cheese. I would have uh, quinoa and salad for dinner. And to finish things off, I'd have to have something sweet that's just typical for me so I'd have some ice cream here you see the blueberry crumble kind I just cannot say no to ice cream I love it I don't and will refuse to demonize ice cream because I love ice cream and it's so good it's so good I love it I just really love ice cream in terms of time in terms of schedule and in terms of the actual workouts themselves Epic One focused on fundamental movements. Dumbbells were introduced in week two with targeted muscle groups introduced in week three and splits were introduced in week four. So really building on a foundation. Whilst in Epic Two, we begin right away with a HIT workout. Dumbbells are introduced in week one as so are targeted muscles as well as splits all in week one and we build up from there. The concept of progressive overload is heavily used throughout the entirety of the Epic program. So in the schedule itself, you're going to start with a hit and then you would move to those focused types of workouts from a full body circuit to push-ups to glutes and abs. You will have an active rest day in there as well and then you will finish off with a full body workout. In Epic One, you would finish off with a hit workout. Now, in Epic Heat, there's a new challenge. The challenge is to really get a great and hardcore workout in Epic, but make it heat. 
that is where we're doing all of these workouts in an intense 30 minutes. And oh boy, they are intense. So you're doing dia sets, you're doing triceps, you're doing um, your hip workouts, you're doing your full body workouts. You're focusing on calisthenics, you're also focusing on strength training as well as building up on muscle imbalances so that you do not have muscle imbalances. There is all sorts of different types of exercises that you're doing throughout. And that's the same to be said for Epic 1 and Epic 2, but in Epic Heat, it is so condensed. On a Monday, you may be doing your back and your glutes. Tuesday, you may be doing um, your calves and your quads. Wednesday, perhaps you're doing your shoulders. And then uh, Thursday, active rest. Friday would be your full body. And then Sunday, she in epic heat, she would end with a hit. So hit would be the last. The whole trajectory of epic as a whole is very beautiful because we start with epic beginner. Let's take a look at our handy dandy Venn diagram. In Epic Beginner, we are doing five workouts in a week. They're 30 minutes. It's building on calisthenics and muscle groups and getting your body used to the workouts. In Epic One, we're building on fundamentals of strength training. And then in Epic Two, we hop right into those fundamentals and build from there. While we are doing that, we are building up on our knowledge as well as confidence enough so that we can get to epic heat and do them in a condensed version. Caroline's focus has largely been on making sure that you feel strong mentally and physically, building confidence, but then also there is hypertrophy built in to the entirety of the epic program as well as progressive overload. On the three planes of motion, the same types of exercises she incorporates throughout. Every good fitness program incorporates exercises across the three planes of motion. If you are noticing that you're not moving across these three planes, please talk to a professional. The first is the frontal plane. This is where you're splitting your body in half from front to back. Movements like a shoulder press or a single arm shoulder press as what Caroline is doing here, move along the frontal plane. Another exercise may be jumping jacks. The next plane is the sagittal plane, and this is where we are splitting your body into left and right. Movements here are typically up and down, so a burpee may suffice, or these Romanian deadlifts may also suffice that up and down movement. The next and final plane is the transverse. This is where we're cutting your body in half at the middle and it involves a twisting motion. So the exercise that Caroline is doing here focuses on that movement. Lots of focus on unilateral stability throughout the entirety of her program. At the end, you're able to do something that you never thought you could do um, at the beginning of the program. I had zero confidence doing um, Romanian deadlifts. I, I didn't enjoy them. Now I am obsessed with them. I also did not enjoy doing lunges. Now <laughs> I think that Caroline's influence has really coerced me into loving them. I love feeling that burn. One thing that I did not think I could do was a burpee with two 20 pound dumbbells and I can do it, I can. Another one is our um, uh, day, on day 45 and day 48, Caroline really challenged, well she challenged me the entirety of the time, but day 45 and day 48. On day 45, we had a bunny hop over dumbbell. And I notice big results. There are things that I did not have beforehand that I have now. My shoulders from Epic 1 to Epic 2 to Epic Heat, my shoulders have gotten broader and I have much more definition in my triceps. I have much more definition in my biceps. This is all Caroline, all of this right here. This, 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 this right here and all of these muscles, all Caroline. The fact that you can see this clavicle as well as 
more muscle here. The other day I made a comment to my partner that I can feel my arm on my chest and I like right here. I never used to be able to do that because my arms are so dinky. <laughs> now they're bigger so I can feel my triceps. I got a little bit more of a booty now. My abs, I have inline, I have more inline abs, but I have inline abs. I don't think that this camera does it justice, but all of this right here is the progress from Epic One, Epic Two, and Epic Heat. I also noticed that like my forearms are extremely like, like muscular. Like I can, my, my grip strength is a lot stronger. More than just the changes that I saw in my body, I noticed a much more confident me coming through. I noticed that yes, while my biceps were growing, my triceps were growing, I was developing abs, I was more confident. I didn't mind taking a picture of my booty. <laughs> I didn't mind taking a picture of my abs and sharing it, whereas before I would have been so, so scared to do that. So what is my advice to you? All of these programs, all of these days of working out with Caroline, getting to know her, spending time with her, almost thinking of her as a big sister in, in a way, what do we gain from doing Epic? One, Epic Two, Epic Heat, what is the focus? And I think the number one focus is to appreciate yourself, to grow within, to understand who you are as a person and to let that person shine through. When you hop into any type of fitness program, give yourself grace, but then also make sure to be hard on yourself. Listen to your body because your mind will tell you that you can't do it. You have to listen to your body and for that matter, listen to your heart. Ensure that you are talking to professionals. Make sure that if you are focusing on nutrition as well here, that you talk to a dietitian. I cannot stress that enough. Don't skip a warm up. Don't skip a cool down. Don't skip Caroline's introductions because she includes such important tidbits for how to do these exercises properly. It's crucial. Beyond all of that, keep going. You can do it. You can do hard things. Make it to the end. Epic heat. Check. 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 Thanks, let me check because I feel like I have to. That was really hard. Uh -huh. literally just finished you were catching me in all my glory all the sweat and it's my eye <laughs> feel pretty happy Okay? You are spending time on yourself. You're making yourself better. You're growing. You're changing. You are becoming even more uniquely you. You're just becoming you with an asterisk or you with italics or you are a bold you. Finally, I just wanted to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to Caroline. I cannot express how grateful I am for you. You are lovely. You are so kind. You are so open and honest. I can't tell you how truly, 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 truly I appreciate you, especially when I click on a video and you share that you've had trouble or uh, you share that you've had uh, motivation uh, issues as well, like we all have. I cannot express it enough that I love that you are human and you're okay with letting people see that you are human. I don't know what else to say. Like, I just think you're really awesome, okay? Yeah, thank you. I wish I could give you a hug. That's all that I have for this video. Please know that you are worthy. Please know that you are loved. And I think that you're awesome. 
on your way out the door, please also make sure to hit that like button. Please make sure to leave me a comment. I read all the comments and I respond right away. Like, heck, leave a comment on the mental health review after you watch it. Leave a comment on my Epic 2 review after you watch it. I will respond. I promise you I will. And then go ahead and make sure to hit that notification bell so that you never miss another video between the plants and I. All right, everybody. Have a cool day. I don't know why I'm humming Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man.